Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are continuing the main story as we get started with what is widely considered to be the worst arc of A Realm Reborn and the entire game. I personally don't mind it so much. I don't think it's actually that bad and they have made it a lot better in recent years. Uh, they made it a lot better before I even started playing so thankfully I never had to deal with it when it was at its worst so... Maybe I don't know the extent of how awful this arc used to be, but it is not that bad. It's certainly not great, but we'll get through it, and it won't be too bad. We're going to make the best of it. Hello, Minfilia. Minfilia is waiting to brief you and your fellow scions on a new development. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the Primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, Two primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. I think I can handle this, but thanks, Yushtola. So you will accept? That is a yes. Thank you. We can't very well send her to Limsa Lominsa without Yastola, can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Thancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange, send word to the students of Baldessian and Alfino, if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan, little though it may be. You will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Provision yourself for the journey. 
May you walk in the light of the crystal. All right, and our next primal becomes clear. Titan. Let's get going. So the storyline for Titan, uh, you will see why as we go, but it is not good. And there are rumors as to why, and I'm not sure how fully I believe them. Um, so during Final Fantasy XIV's development, it is rumored uh, that the, originally it was intended for you to fight not Titan, but Leviathan at this point. Clearly, we are not fighting Leviathan. We are fighting Titan. So why did they switch to Titan? Well, in the middle of A Realm Reborn's development, a little thing called Fukushima happened. There was a major earthquake in Japan, and it caused flooding, and it caused the Fukushima nuclear power plant to explode. It was a pretty catastrophic situation. So, rumor has it that not wanting to, like, dredge up memories of that very recent horrible tragedy, they decided they would not be doing Leviathan at this time, given that it is a sea creature which causes tidal waves. Didn't really want to dredge up those memories directly at the time, it was still a little bit too fresh, and many of the developers uh, allegedly worked in the offices, trapped in the offices, while waiting for the flooding to recede. Uh, so they swapped it out for Titan, is how the rumor goes, and since they were in the middle of development, they had to scrap what they had and replace it with Titan, it would stand to reason that the development for the Titan story arc was a little bit on the rush side for a game that was already rushed, because they were trying to fix it and save it after the catastrophe that was 1.0. If the rumor is true, and that's why they are doing Titan and why Titan is rushed, I have enough sympathy that I don't care at all that the storyline isn't the best for Titan. Uh, and I'm more than willing, more than happy to forgive it and just push on. But I'm not 100% certain that the rumor is true that that is why they are doing Titan. That could just be an urban folk tale for all I know. Uh, I do know there are some documentaries about the development of Final Fantasy XIV out there, and I would like to review them and see if maybe... They can confirm or deny that, but it's not that big a deal. All right, Rashat, I am here to help with your Titan problem. Hail, adventure, and welcome to Maelstrom Command. If you wish to know more about enlisting, please speak with the personnel officer. Unless you are the guest we were told to expect. Ah, ha, ahem. Forgive me, madam. To business, then. It is as we told the antecedent. The kobolds have once again summoned Titan. A little over a moon ago, we began to observe the beastmen moving south and increasing numbers from Ogomoro. Our scouts sub uh, subsequently confirmed the object of their aggression. Crystals. Fodder for their fell primal. Oh, hello, Merlevib. Thank you, High Commander. You may leave the rest to me. Word has spread of your accomplishments, Satora. On behalf of Limsa Lomensa, I thank you for heeding our call. Forgive the lack of forewarning, High Commander. The Admiral wished to address Satora personally. We are no strangers to conflict. Long have the Sahagin and the Kobolds plagued our people. Nor is this the first time we have had to address a primal threat. In the past, when Titan rose to threaten the peace, it was to the company of heroes we turned. But they are long disbanded, and we must look to other brave souls blessed with the strength to face this foe. So it is that we turn now to the silence of the Seventh Dawn, confident in the belief that you are Limsa's best hope. I hope you are right, yet the situation is far from simple. The kobolds are not prone to unprovoked aggression. Did not the Thalsocracy make a pact with the beastmen that each would keep to their own lands and that no blood would be shed? And was it not the Lominsons who violated this agreement, dissatisfied with their lot? Shall we then condemn the beastmen for defending their homes? Thank you, Yashtola! Even a pirate must one day reap what, he, what she has sown. I would advise you to choose your words with greater care, Lady Yashtola. Stand down, High Commander. She has the right of it. And the wrong is mine. Freely do I claim it. 
yet it makes little difference. Remorse will not shield us from Titan's wrath. Or would you have us fall upon our swords? My apologies, Admiral. The safety and security of Limsa Lominsa citizenry are, of course, of paramount concern. Already, we have, deser uh, we have observed disruptions on the flow of ether further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city are long. I ask much of you, so, uh, I ask much of you, I know, but the need is great. Can I count on your help, Satora? Of course you may. You have my thanks, along with the full support of the Maelstrom. I await good tidings. That the Kobolds should summon Titan demonstrates that they are no longer amenable to negotiation. This being the case, we must needs prepare for conflict. Before we meet Titan in the field, however, it would be wise to learn all we can of our foe. And I can think of no better source of information than the mercenaries who defeated him once before. The company of heroes may be no more, but several of its former members still live. It is said that one of them is employed at the Grey Fleet Mills in Lower Lenosia. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, I do not know. When you find him, mayhap you can ask him for me. I, meanwhile, shall seek his fellows. Alright, sounds like a plan, and thank you, Yashtola, for the much-deserved call-out. Limza, hmm, like all the city-states in Eorzea, has some issues and is at fault for the primal threat that is ongoing. Because, as has been stated before, the primals are summoned by people who are desperate. Desperate to survive, and desperate for justice or even revenge. It is not entirely without warrant that they summon Titan, but nevertheless, Titan being present is a problem. Absorbing ether from the land causes great damage to the world. And, of course, the citizens are not really at fault. It's politics and politicians who are at fault. But it's the citizens who will suffer, so... Let us at least put Titan down and hopefully begin to make amends with the kobold. Though, I suspect that they're, it's, that's going to be a rough bargain. They're not going to be very happy with us. They already aren't, but they're also not going to be happy when we put Titan down. It's definitely a rough situation, but we have to try. Alright, on to the Grey Fleet. Let's go meet with this former member of the Company of Heroes. Or I guess member of the former Company of Heroes would be more appropriate. Alright, Tractome, where are you? Hanging out in one of these buildings. Hello there, Tractome. Good to see you. Hello, Yashil. I see you've arrived as well. The Company of Heroes is the most celebrated mercenary band in the history of Eorzea. Even so, I must admit I have never before met one of their members face to face. I imagine that a warrior who had toppled both Titan and Leviathan would seek to bash in a life, uh, bask in a lifetime of fame and glory. Yet, he seems to have settled in a place distinctly bereft of adoring crowds. I mean, some people just don't want the attention, they just want to help out. Maybe he wanted a quiet life after taking down two primals with his company of heroes. Lay down your burden, son. Come drain a pint with me. We'll have a grand old time. Find your last or three. You gonna say something, Venture, or just keep staring, eh? You wanna know about the Company of Heroes? Ah, hell's price of bleeding fame. Can't a miller mill in peace no more. Still, seeing as you've come all this way, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to oblige you. Consider yourself lucky, lass. Old Trictum was the Company's best axeman. Now, what was it you wanted to know? I wanted to hear about how you took down Titan. But I will leave you be, since you seem to be enjoying your peaceful life. And we'll come back to ask you more at a later time. That's going to go ahead and do it for today. I kind of regret that I forgot to check if anything changed in the Scions. But if anything changed in the Scions, the change will be present when we get back after this. So then, next time on Final Fantasy XIV. I think we should probably train up our Lance skills a little bit. And take on Lancer level 30. I'll see everyone next time for that.